Hi everybody, my name is Samer Audi. This is video number four of the Kali Linux Security Tools series. We are still in the information gathering category and this time I am covering network and port scanners. Since I already covered mass scan, I will be concentrating on Nmap, which is a very powerful and important tool in penetration testing. The minimum prerequisite knowledge is network scanning. Just before we start, without any option, Nmap scans 1000 ports on the target. Of course, you can specify which ports you want to scan. As part of the Nmap report, you will get port states. The most obvious are open and closed, which tells you that there is a service or there isn't a service actively running behind that port. Sometimes, however, Nmap can determine if the port is open because the traffic is filtered by a firewall, for instance. And if the port is accessible, but Nmap can't determine whether it's open or closed, you get unfiltered. When there is more uncertainty, you might get a combination result like open filtered or closed filtered. This is our demo plan. Number one, we will perform a fast scan of the network just to discover active host using the SN option. So this option skips port scan. Number two, we will enumerate running services on one of the hosts using the SV option. Number three, we will fingerprint the operating system of one of the hosts using the O option. And number four, we will perform a more intrusive enumeration using the default scripting engine in Nmap with the SC option. Assuming the IPA command gave us this network address, then the SN option would give us a list of active hosts on this class C network. It's a pretty fast scan. The SV option takes a lot more time because it enumerates all running services on all known ports. Remember the 1000 ports. You can specify here if you want specific port and you can also run this command on the entire network. For a class C network, it will be slow but acceptable. However, on a class B or A network, this will be not advisable. The same thing to fingerprint the operating system of a target or all the targets on the network, you can use the O option, capital O here. And this is not considered a scan type. In other words, you don't have SO, just O. And finally, the intrusive enumeration will be done using the default scripting engine using the SC option. These are additional examples you might want to try. The SS or the Stealthy or the SYN scan is like having no option at all. Basically, it performs a TCP scan, but it doesn't complete the three-way handshake. In the second example, we are using the P option to specify port. You can either specify a single port, for example, 80, or you can specify multiple ports separated by a comma, or you can specify a range separated by a hyphen or a dash. So for example, a deep scan would be 0-65535. And the ON option allows us to direct the output into a file. In the third example, I just show you different TCP scans, so we can use the flags SN, SF, SP, and so on. The ST option specifically is called the TCP connect scan. It basically similar to SS, but it does complete the three-way handshake just to make it less suspicious. To perform a UDP scan, you use the SU option, and of course, you can use any combination of these scans depending on your need. So on with the demo.